Okay, so it's so wonderful to see a lot of you here today. And um, it's the very first time where we have host group uh, facilitators, some um, you know, uh, conducting the basic five today. So um, we have the privilege of ha having Auntie Anne and Lily, uh, Justin, and Ken with myself. Um, we're going to be each running one part of the basic five, uh, and it's just going to be a fun time for all of us um, from not only those of us in, in Australia, uh, even within Australia, we've got people from <laughs> different parts of, uh, you know, of, of the country, um, from Sydney, Melbourne, uh, uh, of course, uh, Gold Coast over there, uh, Brisbane as well, um, and um, people from uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and Hong Kong, I believe. Um, so let's get started. Um, again, if anyone would like to share your uh, takeaway or anything that you would like to add on to the sharing, please feel free to just pop it into the group chat. We can have parallel conversation while a presenter is sharing. And then if you want to either ask question or share, you're very welcome. I think that's a, a good way for us to interact and um, uh, share with one another. So let me just uh, share screen. Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, basic five. Uh, today we're going to be using uh, the presentations on Market Australia, but pretty much really with Market, um, you know, Singapore, uh, Malaysia and Hong Kong is more or less the same content. Anyway, basic five is the five uh, fundamentals of uh, how we can actually work our business in order to reach our goals. And so what I'd like to do is um, start off with um, you know, a, a disclaimer that was given to us as a result of what's happening, of course, with COVID times, where you know, government uh, regulatory agencies are really giving um, some warnings uh, in regards to how we conduct businesses in, in our industries, uh, particularly you know, uh, companies, brands, and our distributors, including, of course, every single one of us here, to determine if we are actually using ethical business practices. And so we really need to be very careful in how we conduct ourselves um, in the highest of integrity uh, so that, you know, we are actually doing the right thing, you know, um, majority of the time with uh, social media, uh, we are really being watched. So make sure we don't make any false, misleading or unsubstantiated income or lifestyle claims. Never ever claim or imply that our products are intended to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any disease, illness, or virus, particularly with COVID. Um, and always stick to the list of approved claims regarding Market Australia products that you can find on our website. And so with COVID-19, you know, uh, there is no Therapeutic Goods Administration approved treatment, prevention, or vaccine right now for COVID-19. So make sure that we do not share or imply any of uh, the products that we have uh, are treatment uh, or way to actually help people, uh, you know, uh, deal with uh, COVID-19. That is very, very important. And um, in terms of the business, um, I know that, you know, in the past, we might have used the term plan B or opportunity to make additional income as a way of the economic fallout from the pandemic, but that's a no-no. Make sure we don't do that. I mean, you can say that it's a backup plan, but then it's not actually re in replacement as a result of what's happening in the pandemic. So as um, we're gonna go through a little bit about, you know, the five um, basic fundamentals, make sure that the income that we're gonna be talking about, um, you know, uh, the levels are illustration purposes only, and they're not really to represent a typical um, and franchise owners earning. Of course, you all are aware of the fact that, you know, um, if we follow the system, then it's not a matter of if, but when we'll be able to reach our goals, but then it's also very important for us to follow the proven system. Okay, so to get started, I'm um, sure that you're all aware, uh, but for those of um, our business partners here who may be new, uh, you may or may not have actually gone through uh, these three required trainings. And they're very, very important, especially for those of us who are from Asia Pacific uh, in um, Singapore, Malaysia and Hong Kong. The first two required trainings, um, NUOT, which is um, new and franchise owner training as well as basic five need to be done uh, very quickly within the 30, 20, uh, first 28 days uh, of um, your start day. So with um, 
NUOT uh, is about the terminology and requirements. And today we are going to be focusing on, in the next few hours, um, the fundamentals of uh, building an unfranchised business. And then ECCT, which is Executive Coordinator Certification Training, is the in-depth knowledge and uh, you know, the terminology as well as requirements uh, for policy and procedures. So for any one of you who are uh, wanting to actually, you know, uh, revise after today, you can go to your back office, the Unfranchised Business Account, go to help and training, online training to actually go through it. Um, but of course, if you want to have a certification, then you need to attend a formal training like today. And if you need a training, uh, certification, um, please feel free to contact me after this and I'll be more than happy to send you uh, the um, certification of basic five. Um, and okay, so when it comes to basic five, these are the five fundamentals, uh, including attitude and knowledge where I'm going to be going through with you guys. The second uh, basic is goals and goal statement. Uh, Justin is going to be running that and retailing, um, Lily is going to be um, facilitating that part. Prospecting, qualifying and sponsoring, Ken will be conducting that. And last but not least, which is actually, in fact, I would say the most important is the follow up and ABC pattern of building depth. Uh, our amazing um, millionaire uh, and um, you know our executive director and senior partner of every single one of us, um, Auntie Anne Look will be going through that with us. All right, so before I get started, I just want to um, set a scene for each and every single one of us by asking you a question. You can uh, feel free to uh, pop it into the group chat, your answer. Has anyone else during this time of either the COVID times as well as you know uh, the last few months been feeling any of these feelings? Sad, lonely, angry? <laughs> anxious, lazy, indifferent, unmotivated, confused, overwhelmed, and unsure. Now, the reason why I actually add this in is because I've personally been through uh, a lot of uh, connections with people, even outside of our unfranchised business uh, community. And um, in fact, you know, quite a lot of people actually have been through quite a lot of these um, difficult feelings or um, emotions. Um, what I'd like to uh, address is that, you know, this is really totally normal, given, you know, the circumstances that we're in. And I know for a fact that, of course, you know, we are really blessed. Uh, what we have in our hands are great business where we can still grow and do a lot of things through Zoom. Um, but in fact, I can say that sometimes um, we can feel a little bit of a negative um, emotions. I know for a fact, if I'm honest with you, every now and then I might feel like that. So if that's the case, then don't worry because um, even when we are you know, unmotivated or sometimes we, we feel a little bit overwhelmed, it's very, very natural. In fact, uh, for those of you who may be going through uh, Dr. Deidre Mason, which I highly recommend, we are halfway through the hashtag 28 days of health now, uh, is something that I personally for the last two weeks have found huge benefit. How many of you on this call are going through that with um, Dr. D? If you haven't, that's okay. You can still continue, you start from day one because you know uh, it's actually in the MA healthy living. And I find that that can actually help us you know, with not only our physical health, but also um, the five dimensions of health. And um, being a certified nutritionist and a health coach, I always focus on, first of all, myself, having the five dimensions of health, which is spiritual, emotional, mental, social, and physical. Um, in regards to this time round, and I can see that there are quite a few of our um, uh, teammates here feeling like, oh, unmotivated, sometimes confused, overwhelmed, and it's okay. Um, but what I would like to share during the first of the basic five, which is something as I'm sharing with you, I am sharing with myself as well, attitude is something that can actually help us with that. So that is just to set the scene. The reason why we have the five dimensions or the five basics is because if we don't have good attitude or even the knowledge that we need to have, then all of these negative um, feelings or 
emotions can be a reality. And when that happens, let's support one another and believe that we can. You can see all of this, um, you know, light bulbs with the words I can't. And, and you can see so many of I can't, but if you only are able to actually focus on the part of the belief system, because you know a lot of great leaders and Auntie M would tell you the same, that are very, very successful. The one thing um, that we can say is our very important product. It's not OPC3, even though OPC3 is our flagship product, is our belief system. So belief, I would say is absolutely part of the most important and crucial area of uh, the category under attitude and knowledge. Okay, so let me just um, share with you this uh, quote that I personally really, really love. And that is from Charles Window. Charles Window is, um, uh, you know, a, a pastor and uh, an educator and speaker, uh, an author for Insight for Living. And he said this is always something that goes into my mind to help me to actually keep a good attitude, right? So he says, attitude is more important than facts. It is more important than the past, the education, the money, then circumstances, then failure, then successes, then what other people think or say or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness or skill. How many of you agree with that? Like it seems like there are so many things that he's mentioned here that to a lot of us are very important. Uh, whether it's, you know, money, education, successes, uh, giftedness, and all of that, right? And however, I totally agree, absolutely, attitude is more important than every single one of them. That's why even with our um, CEO, J.R. Reidinger, when he puts together all these five dimensions or five basics of fundamentals of success, attitude is number one alongside with um, knowledge. Okay, so now I'm going to be just uh, going through this really quickly in terms of why, um, you know, our company is so amazing uh, in order for us to actually rebuild and or for those of us who are already very familiar with our company, why we are, uh, you know, um, people that should be really proud of being connected to shop.com. And because of that, we should be you know, having the belief not only, uh, you know, to the, the company, but also the products and ourselves. So first of all, Market Australia, Market Malaysia, Market Singapore or Market Hong Kong shop.com provides a system for each and every single one of us as entrepreneurs to create an ongoing income and become financially independent while providing consumers worldwide with a better way to shop. So even that right there as a mission is something that we should be really proud of because if we have the belief that you know this company can provide all of us you know, this ongoing income uh, then, and not only to us, but also the people that we serve as our customers, our uh, VIP consumers all around the world, you know, a blessing as a better way to shop then. We need to then have that attitude to understand, yes, we have great things in our hand. And through revolutionary technology and the power of people, just like what we are going through right now, we've got people from all different parts of mainly Asia Pacific with different teams working together, even, you know, the five of us and that are conducting this training are from different groups. We can be working together in a very, you know, um, amazingly uh, collaborative manner, just like the people on the right hand side. Here. As long as we are able to um, have the people of power, then, you know, we are powered by people just like every single one of us here. So that is something we need to be aware of, the mission of our company. And um, so I won't go through a lot of the details of the company. You all are aware of that, you know, uh, we're all part of the operations, uh, mainly in Asia Pacific. But as you all know that we've won the Torch Award in not only one year, but two years, 2013 and 2018, where it's actually we're the only company that actually won that. And that's amazing because that signifies we have trust, performance and integrity with A plus rating. Now that, why is that important? Because Better Business Bureau is actually a third party organization that gave company uh, you know, all around the world to be able to get to this rating. And for us to be able to do that, 
means that that you know we have to have a great attitude and believe we have wonderful something really wonderful in our hands and of course if you have a look at um, our worldwide sales uh, and unfranchised owner uh, earnings we have more than 14 billion dollars australian or more than nearly 10 billion us dollars accumulated sales and more than half in fact you know uh, nearly 51 percent have gone back to unfranchised owners and um, we have you know thousands of unfranchised owners that are earning anywhere between 3,000 to 3,600 Australian dollars per week, and more than 500 um, unfranchised owners are uh, earning more than, you know, more than 1 million US dollars in commissions. And we are adding new million dollar earners every month. So all of that, I won't go into too much details because you're all very aware of it. I suppose when you actually go through the plan, uh, you know, you see uh, all of this, but all of these slides, I really want you to actually understand uh, the importance of them because these are slides that will actually give us a lot more, you know, a belief and attitude to understand, you know, our business is actually really the best. Now, when it comes to our MPCP, which is Management Performance Compensation Plan, we have a lot of main reasons for us to be proud of being part of this company, hence, you know, developing great attitude. We have proven business plan. Uh, we can actually earn retail profit straight away as soon as we become part of the business and our volume surge to infinity. And if you had the chance to look at the differences between us and MLM companies, many of the other companies, you know, they actually don't surge to infinity, you know, in between like, so level five, level seven, or you know, different levels when someone actually gets to a point, uh, they can actually be breaking away. Whereas with us, we don't have that. And that is another benefit, right? And in terms of business volume and internet business volume, we can accrue and accumulate points for 365 days. Unlike, you know, many other companies, it's only per month. And then by the end of the month, you, if you want to actually reach certain level and it's not even 100%, like we do, uh, you know, they, they then will have their points flushed. So that is why we have this amazing strength. And then of course, you know, volume and people placement means that it's not only those that come after, you know, like junior partner that would benefit the senior partners. In fact, senior partners also are able to support and benefit those that come be after them. So that's what we call volume and people placement. And of course, our commissions are calculated weekly. That means when you reach a certain threshold that week, you'll be able to earn commission. And we can own multiple business development centers up to 999. And in fact, the sky is the limit. And then the other thing is we have the ability to earn more than senior partners. And that has been, you know, uh, really common in, you know, different organizations um, whereby, in fact, you know, for, if you were to ask me, I would be so happy if I have my junior partners earning more than me. What that means is that, you know, my organization is really solid. So in many, many other organizations or companies, there's no way, you know, those that come after can actually earn more than those that introduce them. Now, business is a willable asset. And that is amazing because the fact that, you know, you can do that means that, you know, your children, your grandchildren, or even, you know, not-for-profit or, uh, or mission, ministry, uh, charity, you can actually will it even long after you go, you, you pass, right? So that is really something special. And uh, the other thing is organizational structure creates common vested economic interest. So that is amazing in terms of being able to have the synergy. You know, the vertical organization means that, you know, everyone is able to support everyone else within the same team. And we can build two organizations in depth to create ongoing residual significant income. And of course, you can grow your business globally, not only within your own city. Okay, so now I'll just um, really quickly go through the differences between horizontal versus, uh, you know, our vertical marketing structure. As you can see here for horizontal marketing structure, just like, you know, real estate, insurance, sales, or normal um, traditional business, everyone is really in competition with everyone else because it's actually, you know, going through what we call a horizontal um, cross 
uh, organization. So what that means is if someone say, for example, you know, earns, uh, sells a property, let's say in a real estate, someone else will not be able to benefit from it. Okay. Whereas um, with our system, which is vertical marketing structure, everyone within the same organization all working together. And so that means teamwork, synergy, interdependence is really reality. And the beautiful thing is everyone receives 100% credit for sales and volume generated to infinity. And so that means, as I already shared, you know, the earning potential is not determined by position. You can come in a lot later than someone who uh, before you and you can still earn a lot more than them. OK, so that is amazing. Now, when it comes to developing attitude and knowledge, there are so many things that we can do to develop that. Now, one thing that I really would love to encourage you all to think about is some um, things that we need to do to really develop all these five dimensions uh, or basic five fundamentals, because to be honest, you know, for us to be able to earn an ongoing residual income, it's not like the day that you come in, then you'll be able to start doing that. This is a two to three year plan. It's not from the day that you get started. It's from the day that you master and implement the basic five to a point where all five of these will be something that you're able to do uh, you know, um, and um, mastering, implementing and learning. So that's why skills are very important. And as we go through this basic five, um, I would like to encourage you uh, to really think about the research producing activities that will allow you to develop each of this basic five. So here are the five things that I would like you to really take on board on your daily weekly or monthly basis in order to develop your attitude and your knowledge. If you're able to do this, then you know this basic first basic uh, of the basic five will be in place. Number one is to listen to audios daily. I mean, many of us, of course, you know, are working full time, then even if listen to audios weekly is better than, you know, not listening one at all. So I would even say if possible, listen to one daily, which is the basic five criteria. You can always go onto YouTube or our, uh, you know, uh, back office uh, and the app to choose, you know, the different audios. Number two is make sure you have tickets to the next event, you know, because it's not only just about the tickets. Tickets equal education. Education when implementing, uh, you know, to your business will be able to allow you to actually, you know, uh, do what it takes for uh, result producing. So that's why we always say, you know, GMTSS uh, result producing activities, having tickets to those events are very important. Of course, many of you would know that the next weekend coming up, we have the Asia Pacific Leadership School. That is something that if you haven't already got the tickets, make sure you contact your sponsor or senior, uh, senior um, uh, leader to get one. Then number three is to schedule a weekly call with your senior business partner to um, keep you accountable, to share about you know, your struggles or things that you need, really need to actually improve. Then number four is to participate in conference call, you know, calling, webinars and training and stuff like that. And of course, associate with positive and successful people. That's why I love working with uh, teams that are not even in my own team, like cross team, like all of the people that are facilitating with me, like Lily and Justin, you know, and, and Ken and Auntie and all of uh, these people, they are positive and successful. And to be able to associate with them, it also helps me to grow in my business as well. So I would encourage you all to do the same. Now, attitude certainly precedes success. Well, the reason is if you actually don't have the right attitude as um, Charles Window talks about, then really it's very, very difficult for us to then, you know, um, do the right things by yourself and by the business as well. Because um, if you don't do uh, what needs to be done, um, it's not actually just the things that you say, but how you say it. And that actually, you know, um, causes the right um, things to uh, have the right feelings as well. So let's say, as we, we talked about, you know, uh, quite a number of us during this time may have felt uh, sad, lonely, or even, you know, confused, unmotivated, et cetera, et cetera. But we, if we can think about certain things uh, to actually improve our attitude when 
we don't we feel like oh we have an attitude attack then we can actually create some kind of change in a moment say for example we've already talked about uh you know uh, talking to your senior business partner and you know um share with people that are positive and willing to face fears and and things like that okay so the individual who succeeds simply does what the individual who failed did not do or was not willing to do many times when we're actually thinking about you know why are some people successful and others fail is because you know of their willingness to do what it takes again so so that's why if you are able to actually take time out to uh, think about what you want to achieve and hence you know um, when justin uh, is going to be sharing with us about goals and goal statement you plan and you uh, you know share about what your goals uh, and then you know uh, take action uh, in doing that then you will be able to um, go through what it takes. So in order to do that, first of all, is to develop a business mindset. Because a lot of people think of this business as um, just a hobby because uh, they might not have the business mindset. That's why it's very important uh, to look at yourself as an entrepreneur, because if you have uh, that mindset of, um, okay, this is something that will actually allow me to reach my goals, reach my dreams and my uh, you know, uh, things that I want to achieve, then you wouldn't just look at it as a hobby. That's why, you know, creating a business plan and schedule it in your calendar is very important. And uh, Justin is going to be sharing a bit with us um, in, in the next um, basic two, which is um, goals and goal statement. Now, your options to earn a significant income can be uh, a number fold, like working more hours, get a second job, or go back to school, invest and own your own business. However, a lot of this either, you know, require a lot more time or a lot more money. And in fact, if you do any one of this, there's really um, no guarantee for you to be able to earn a significant income. Even if you do, it may mean that it's still linear income, which we're going to be sharing with you about the differences between linear and um, uh, ongoing residual. So your options, okay, if you wanted to earn a significant income uh, is to start a traditional business, but majority of businesses like that would need at least half a million to purchase. Uh, even a small startup business, you would need at least 100,000 to capitalize. Um, it's the same thing with franchise, right? Average about 150,000 to purchase. And if you want to actually be a professional and go back to studies, um, you know, spending anywhere between, you know, uh, five to seven years uh, education, that would be another uh, investment of 100 to 600,000 average. So when you think about that, all these options require a lot of capital to start off. And when it comes to linear income versus ongoing income, linear income is, you know, when we talk about, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Robert Kiyosaki, and that is, you know, the cash flow quadrant where you're an employee or self-employed, where you're trading time for money. If you go to work or if you spend time in your small business, then you will be able to earn the money trading time. But if you don't trade time, uh, when you stop, uh, let's say if you are made redundant, uh, or I know for a fact that quite a lot of people during this COVID times, have not uh, have been made stood down, then they will totally, you know, lose all of their linear income. And that's why money only grows linearly with the linear income. And when your work stops, then your income stops. And there's really no true wealth because you don't have that ongoing true wealth that will keep coming in even when you stop working. And time is not your own because you're working for someone else, working for your company, working for your boss, and you're only making a living. Whereas with an ongoing residual income, um, just like the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant um, by Robert Kiyosaki cash flow, where it's for big business uh, or uh, with investment, you're actually leveraging your time um, and in fact leveraging you know, other people's time as well. And money can grow exponentially if you're investing money into it. And we're going to be talking a little bit about shopping annuity. In fact, it's not only a business, what we have in our hands is also a great investment because we can fund into our shopping annuity in order to fuel 
that investment. So that's why money grows exponentially alongside economically connected households. And that's why income continues and we can create true wealth and we can have total time freedom and create a lifestyle as well. The best way to predict your future is really to create it. Now, I'd love for you to really pay attention to this formula because really, if we are able to master this formula and to really implement it into our business, then I can assure you, it's not a matter of if, but when we will be successful in creating our ongoing residual income. It's only when we don't have one part or more than one part of this formula that we may not be where we are at. And I know for a fact that when I reflect on this formula, I know I'm not where I want to be yet. It's because there are different parts of this formula that I'm not doing well yet. The reason is we need to have quality time with people that are go now. Now, what is go now people? Okay, go now people. Uh, I have had um, different uh, definitions, but one that I really, really like is uh, from, um, you know, one of the uh, executive director called Stacy White. Stacy White actually talks about go now people as someone who is consistently learning, mastering and implementing. So three things learning, mastering, and implementing the basic five. So we, this, this is what we're learning today, right? So the basic five, we'll be able to do all those three things consistently, learning, meaning that every quarter, at least once a quarter, we need to actually attend this basic five. Mastering is not only just about learning, right? Because I, I can always say there's so many of us who are conference junkies, but only learning is just in our head. Knowing without doing is not knowing. I know that for a fact, I've had a lot of my business partners or even myself, I love training. I love attending different types of you know, uh, meetings like this. And of course, even conferences and convention. However, learning is only the very first part. The second part is equally as important and that is mastering. Because if you don't master what you've learned, then it's like Bruce Lee who says, knowing without doing is not knowing. The number three is implementing. Implementing is one step further than mastering. So you know about this, you then master the basics, right? But then you implement it into your day-to-day, -day, your daily, weekly, monthly uh, accountability, all of that. Then when you're able to do that, and then the second part of that is to lead by example. It's not only you personally doing it, if you have a team, if you're only knowing how to do that on your own, there is no duplication. And if you're not leading by example, let's say, oh, I have new team members. Um, they are coming to do you know, the basic five, but I just let them come and I'm not coming myself. That is not leading by example, I have to say this. Um, and so, okay, just coming back to the formula, the quality time spending in duplicatable growth is something that's um, very important because you can be growing on your own, but then if you don't have leaders in your team that will be duplicating what you do, then there is no volume because no matter how much volume you personally do, that will not be enough you know, for you to actually get to, a, let's say, a, a point where you might want to reach uh, in, a, in a pin level, let's say. Then of course, after that is income. So hence, you know, spending time with go now people is important. Uh, by not only learning, by mastering and implementing the basic five, but lead by example. And if you are new, I know that there were quite a lot of you who are new team members here. Of course, you haven't had any um, new partner yet. Then your goal right now is first of all, uh, to be uh, a goal now yourself, meaning of course, learning. So I would like to applaud you today uh, by already attending, you know, I know at least four or five of our teammates that are attending this one for the first time, then aim uh, and set a goal to become go now by not only learning today, but mastering and implementing. And then when you, uh, you know, uh, sponsor people, help people in your team uh, to activate, and then you activate yourself, etc., to go find more and more go now people. And that's my goal. I do need to have more go now people in my team in order for me to go to the next level as well. So result producing activities. Uh, here are four, five things that we all need to do in order to have results. 
First is to use and sell the products, create a customer base and cash flow. Number two is to use and promote the shopping and duty. Number three is to attend trainings and sell tickets because tickets equal education and then equal you know, the knowledge. And only if you have the knowledge and education, then will you be able to master and implement and then set yourself as the example of your team. Number four is to share the business, personally sponsor two and help them activate. So not only for you to activate by having two business partner, you also help your team to do the same thing. Last but not least is to build an organization and volume with a team of other unfranchised owners to earn $300 or more monthly in commission. So these are the five things that we would all love to be supporting every single one of us to actually achieve uh, in order to uh, go through uh, what your goals are. Okay, so system for success. Now, this is something that um, is extremely important and it's very unique to shop.com and that is GMTSS, which stands for Global Meeting Training and Seminar System. When you look at our daily method of operation or even in our back office, uh, training, uh, back office accountability, or a lot of the accountability group, whether it's a 312, 6 by 6 or 90 day fast track, GMTSS events are, are amongst one of the uh, things that we all need to do regularly. It is a proven system of meetings, seminars, and events that provide new and established unfranchised owners with individual learning opportunities that contribute to standardized and effective training. Yes, given that a lot of us may have had the knowledge, but if we are able to learn and then contribute, because once we've learned, then we will be able to uh, train others, right? So that's why it's so important. So the uh, GMTSS has uh, a system, okay? It starts off with the names list. For those of you who are new, that is the very first thing you all need to do. And even for those of us who've been in the business for a while, the names list needs to be ever revolving. Um, what that means is for new people, we would say in the beginning, at least a hundred names, right? Then for those of us who are business partners, we continue to actually need to add two new possibilities every day, which is the 312 that Elizabeth Weber talks about. Then once we have the names list, of people that we can approach, then what we can do is to have uh, two on one uh, with your business partner, senior business partner to approach, you know, the people that are in the in your names list, a possibility list, then invite them to either home events or right now a lot of us are doing a zoom, you know, evaluation plan part one, part two, and or go to webinar, uh, which is our UBP, we generally now we have UBP every single week, whether it's from the US, whether it's from, you, uh, from Asia, from Australia, you know, um, we have it regularly, in fact. So that is the seminar uh, and or webinar, okay? So then once we actually attend the UBP, which is um, the GMTSS approved UBP, which is a little different from our personal HBP, which is the home events where we do part one, part two, then where we have the opportunity through uh, the unfranchised business is to meet successful unfranchised owners. Given that, because right now with the pandemic, we don't actually go face to face to see people. We might not be able to meet people face to face, but at least with Zoom, we are able to um, you know, communicate with each other at least through our group chat like this, right? So it's still wonderful. And once we attend you know, the unfranchised business um, presentation, we have what we call MAM, M -A -M, which is meeting after the meeting, which is extremely important, whether you do it right after your presentation, uh, through your part one, part two, or, uh, you know, UBP, or if you have a specific Q&A Zoom time, it's extremely important uh, to have a time to actually get back with your uh, personally, uh, you know, invited guests to uh, have a Q&A time, answers questions, and also to uh, invite them to try, uh, uh, start a trial run. And follow up is extremely important. That's the part that Auntie Anlock will be sharing with us at the number five of our basic five follow up ABC pattern. So here is the 
structure of how the GMTSS works, okay? After the two-on-one, the, you know, uh, going through your possibility list, uh, our Zoom meeting, part one, part two, to the UBP, then the next important thing about the GMTSS is local seminars. Local seminars happen actually once a quarter in different parts of the world. And um, if you go to your back office, uh, you can always find out where your local seminars are. And of course, after that would be um, either, you know, our annual convention or our leadership school. As I mentioned, the next one coming up is next weekend, in fact, uh, our Asia Pacific Leadership School. Then we will have uh, international convention normally in February. Next year will be in March in Las Vegas. And then World Conference is generally um, World Conference is generally in February or March, and the International Convention in Greensboro will be in August, normally. Then in between time, um, whether you attend UBP and local seminars and or, you know, part one, part two, we have the general business training, which are, you know, uh, required trainings, I would say, best to do it every quarter uh, for those that are going for Master UFO. But even if you're not, it's always good to actually attend this to learn from different trainers. So today we have five different trainers, but other times we have, you know, individual trainers that you can, you know, learn from, uh, NUOT Basics 5 and VCCT. And there are also university specific and product trainings. What are university specific meaning? Those are the trainings for specific division of our uh, different lines of products, right? Like TLS, Motis, uh, you know, ISM, webinar, Etc. So um, on the 29th of November and 6th of December, Hong Ling and myself will be doing a university specific TLS 101 and 201. So any one of you who want to learn more about TLS and want to be either, uh, you know, getting to know more about the four pillars as well as perhaps being a coach, then I would highly recommend that you uh, attend that. And motives, there are a lot of different motives events coming up uh, with um, different um, trainers as well. So take a look at your back office. Um, the more you attend, the more you will be confident in sharing about all those different um, products with others. Okay, so next is meeting after the meeting as we talk about after UBP. It's very important for you to actually invite or actually get your uh, experienced team members, your senior partners to help you uh, schedule a follow-up appointment. Um, in our team, we always have like a Q&A, uh, either Friday or, or Saturday after our Tuesday, Thursday, part one and part two. But if not, then you can always organize a one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one coffee meeting. You know, nowadays, you know, the restrictions have lifted. You can always meet face-to-face -face as well. And when you do that, you know, you answer the questions, start a trial run, and even sell tickets for people to attend. Our next event is very, very good. And um, so the importance of selling tickets as a result-producing activity is such that people then will be exposed to uh, you know the education because knowledge as i mentioned is very important right so when should you sell tickets well after ubp uh, during you, uh, the time when you register a new business partner uh, create a sense of urgency because of the fact that truly um, I received a very, very amazing um, message from Ken uh, just this week, and he was talking about, you know, something that we can actually fast track our business. There are not many things that we can do, but one of the things truly, and I so agree with Ken, is that attending GMTSS event or buy tickets to attend events, because you are short circuiting six months learning in that one event. We're talking about Asia Pacific um, you know, train uh, Asia Pacific Leadership School. So all of that is very important. It's not like, you know, okay, well, you sell the ticket, uh, create an urgency. It's not, the purpose is really for you to understand, you know, the concept, the heart, the um, iron sharpening iron during that time. Okay. And another thing that is quite good uh, for us to be in, uh, doing as a team is uh, do call workshops. Uh, when we do call workshops, we will be able to then make calls, you know, to invite our potential uh, prospects, you know, to attend um, either our uh, business presentation or our online events, you know, whether it's, um, um, you know, uh, overview or uh, wellness 101, et cetera, different things like that. And so it's very good to be able to um, sell tickets after that as well. 
And of course, as we mentioned, any events that are coming up is good for us to be um, inviting people. So our next um, big events, apart from next weekend's um, Asia Pacific um, Leadership School is going to be uh, the MAWC 2021 in Las Vegas, uh, March 25th to the 27th. Um, and that is the, uh, the next big event. And so now uh, I'd like to um, just go through our getting started guide in the next few minutes. And um, for those of you who are new, I would imagine your sponsor or senior partner would go through this in a much uh, a greater depth and detail with you. But the reason why is in basic five is because we just want to let you all know that really the getting started guide is the blueprint for success. If you want to be successful, the Getting Started Guide is something that cannot be missed as you go through it. And it's not only for new business partners. If you're new, absolutely, you need to go through this in details. But for those people that have been in the business for a while, it's also important for us to go through it because our goals and different things will be changed, right? So in order to do that, um, for those of you who are new in your Fast Start Kit, you would have that in a in a booklet, but um, we also have that in our back office under, uh, you know, uh, our unfranchise.com help and training uh, underneath a support material. So in session one, it's very important for us to actually be committed uh, to all these things uh, with um, developing our unfranchise business. So I won't go through them, and I'm sure you all have uh, this in your getting started guide. Make sure uh, you go through it with your sponsor or your senior business partner. And the other thing that is in the back office is to master UFO program. It is a really um, important structured system if you want to be successful in your business and get to uh, you know, two to three years to start earning your ongoing residual income. Uh, the people that are committed to master UFO program regularly, in fact, the goal is every single quarter are the ones that are able to earn a, you know, a, a successful um, income quickly. So that is in your back office. Again, uh, you can take a look at it and also at the last page of your uh, getting started guide. And here are some of the things that uh, will be necessary in order for you uh, to reach the master UFO goal. That is um, basically, you know, identifies the areas of success. Uh, to allow you to enter into action because these are the things that are result producing and as you are able to reach you know these uh, different uh, criteria then you will have bigger belief in the business and you will have more confidence not only to uh, the products the business but also to yourself and you can duplicate the result producing activities that ensure growth of your business to your team as well. Because if you have not ever reached a master UFO goal, how are you as a leader going to be duplicating that effort to others? So that's why if you want to be, you know, uh, create, uh, creating a, a team of successful um, master UFOs, you first need to do that yourself. And then of course you earn the ability to designate a second volume uh, placement ID as a bonus. So here again, if you go to your back office, go to uh, your reports management and click master UFO program. All of the criteria is in there. It's for you to actually go through it to measure, monitor uh, just your progress. And it's in calendar months as well. So right now we are in the last quarter of um, uh, 2020s, uh, October to December. So as you go, you can then go through all these um, points, uh, whether, uh, you know, uh, you are right now sort of in progress of it or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, the more you can do it, then the more you'll be able to be closer to your goal. Um, you can start, you know, uh, making a concerted effort to start maybe, you know, the first quarter of 2021. Uh, but here you can see on the right hand side are the different criteria. All right, now the shopping annuity is um, a very important uh, concept as our business is um, really built on that. It's a revolutionary concept that helps people to convert their spending into earning. And every single one of us, you know, is spending money on our daily things anyway. It's, it's in any way money, then why not get paid for it, right? So whatever that you buy, I would encourage you to go through, you know, either your partner stores, which basically everything and anything, a lot of things can be purchased there, in fact. 
But of course, the most important thing is our uh, exclusive products. Whatever that we have, we buy from those. And then we're basically treating it like an investment by fueling, by funding, you know, our spending into earning. Um, of course, you know, shopping annuity is an area where uh, not only will you get 100% of what you purchase, but your customers and your team, every single one will get 100% credit as well, which is really amazing. Now, I would really, really encourage those of you who haven't been to our part one, um, you know, with our team here, uh, we, every Tuesday we have a part one um, business plan uh, for evaluation with shopping annuity. We go through that in details. Okay, so steps to build, uh, you know, your uh, shopping annuity begins with each and every single one of you as an unfranchised owner uh, by going into shopping annuity assessment. I know for a fact that in Malaysia, you don't have that um, as, as, as an important part of your, um, uh, well, the, the annuity uh, assessment is there, but you don't have to do that as part of your uh, master UFO, but I think it's still good for you to actually go through what you can purchase. But the thing is, really, the concept is the same, doesn't matter which market you're from. And that is be a product of the product. You can only really, you know, share with others what you've personally used, right? So once you become a product, you're no longer selling, you're just sharing your experience. And then I'm sure that, you know, Lily is going to be sharing with us about retelling how to go about doing that. Create BV with our exclusive products, create IBV with partner stores. And once you've done that, you personally become the product of the product, then you can duplicate that effort with your team members. And then each and every single one of us will be able to create that with our customers as well. So here in our back office, we also have under you know, reports management, um, shopping annuity master member, and you can always take a look at where you're at as well. And so it's um, actually, uh, if you're able to reach that, you know, SAMM shopping annuity master member in the particular calendar quarter, then the company will give you free shipping for a whole year. So it's something well worth, um, you know, investing in and also getting to know more about your business through, uh, being committed to SAMM. All right, so here, once you actually do your um, shopping annuity assessment, uh, the goal is to generate 250 IBV, 1,500 uh, BV, as well as, um, uh, you know, uh, just going through really uh, the, those three things. Once you get that, uh, you'll be able to get um, one year of um, free shipping. Okay, so now, how to create 250 IBV per quarter. This is just uh, some examples uh, of um, how you can do that. First of all, there are a lot of um, things that are our exclusive products that you can actually purchase to fulfill IBV as well. Um, let's have a look at a standard household uh, as an example. When you convert the products you already be using, you know, using the exclusive products. And it's the same. I mean, here are some examples of Market Australia, but if you're from Market Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, it's the same thing, just different products. Um, but some of the products are also available in the different markets. So let's say every month you have a shopping list of uh, just even only buying one TLS nutrition shake, one multivitamin, one Lumia DV intensive pen and body cream, one ultimate aloe and snap free and clear laundry. All together, you know, you already have 72 IBV because every single one of these exclusive products allow you to earn IBV. And we always encourage people to actually do that in your auto ship. You can actually do that in your auto ship, right? So do that. And I mean, seriously, like, you know, one nutrition shake is 14, uh, 14, um, uh, 14 uh, dosage, like, I mean, as in like 14 uh, servings. <laughs> so I get two a month, like between me and I, my husband, sometimes four, because if we drink it every day, you know, really one is minimal. Um, so things like that, 72 BV is really, really easily done. Even if you, you only have a two person household like me and my husband, if you have kids even more so, right? Um, so converting the products that you're already using to market Australia exclusive products like um, you know, household products, uh, argan oil shampoo, conditioner, magnesium, hydrating lotion, Royal Spa, 
that together quarterly, I mean, you might not be using it you know, every day, then you already have 52 IBV. And of course, a lot of uh, um, you know, uh, partner store products you can purchase uh, from different um, products now. Many, many, want, many of us love cash com.au or Groupon and many log and you know etc. You can get nearly 25 BV monthly IBV really IBV 25 IBV is quite easily done as well. And so here are just some example of the different um, partner stores uh, you can actually purchase from to be able to get 25 IBV per month as well as you know the exclusive products IBV really uh, 250 IBV per quarter is doable. So unfranchised business resources are another area that I'd like you all to pay attention to in order to build your knowledge, your attitude, and so that you can help others as well. Uh, the flip chart is available in your fast start kit. Uh, the home shopping list is quite useful. In fact, nowadays um, we have the online version which I've started using uh, for my customers, which I find very helpful. Uh, last um, time when we had a basic five, uh, actually Stephen who sent that to us, and there's product uh, catalog that you can give to your customer and you can download in your back office in support materials about MA to be used uh, to uh, uh, your customer to send them information as well. One area in your back office that I think you will find very, very helpful if you haven't already been using it is under help and training, uh, under support materials. It's got so much amazing information there. Uh, that you can actually learn from. And of course, the new learning center, I would um, spend time at least once a week, um, half an hour, just to go through, especially if you are new and franchise owners to go through the different areas, especially the first 90 days. Um, but beyond, like even for me now, I would go into the learning center. It's just got a plethora of golden nuggets, I can tell you, uh, whether it's about unfranchised, you know, management system, about, you know, uh, the different types of um, university major. Uh, it's just really, really good in terms of product knowledge, establishing your foundation, goals and accountability and business building. So if you haven't already gone into the learning center, I would recommend that you schedule in time, um, at least, you know, half an hour a week, to go in to learn whatever area you can, you can learn so much from it. Apps and feature centers as well is in uh, the uh, back office that you can actually um, go through as well. One um, really, really good um, uh, app is the media app. If you want to you know, learn to have better attitude, knowledge and believe, as well as um, you know, uh, being able to communicate you know, our products, our opportunity, and in fact, the hope that you can give to your potential customers and business partners, I would highly recommend that you use the Unfranchised Media app. I know for a fact that right now uh, with COVID in the past um, last few months, uh, if you go to your um, YouTube channel, there are a lot of amazing, uh, you know, information and, uh, you, and video there. But if you actually download the Unfranchised Media app since inception, you know, we've got like hundreds and hundreds of uh, different things that you can actually go into. Uh, you can filter it to different topics as well. So when I go jogging, when I go out and about, when I do my chore, whatever it is, I just listen to it on my phone here. And I don't even need to watch the video because it's all in audio, right? And um, one thing that I really, really like uh, that I learned from, again, um, one of my favorite um, trainer, um, Stacy Whited and her team, uh, they actually go through the, uh, uh, the filter called cheese, C-H-E-E-S-E -E -E, cheese, as in like the cheese dairy. Uh, they actually have the best type of um, information on business building as well. So there are many, many different types of um, you know, apps that you can go in to use as well. So there are, of course, right now, if you go to your uh, back office and franchise news, scroll down, there are many, many different Zoom sessions that are happening every single week. And you can actually put in the time that you can uh, go in to learn uh, generally every single week. We now have Dr. Deidre Mason on a Thursday morning. Uh, 
and then we have, uh, you know, uh, um, UBP every Friday morning, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, these are some of the other websites that you can learn many things from, because again, knowledge is powerful. Uh, if you want to develop knowledge and attitude, then go into these other blogs, media, uh, social media, you can learn so much. So basically, in a nutshell, in order for you to actually develop the best product of our business, which is your belief system, do these five things. Listen to audios and read daily, attend events, call your senior business partners, participate in a calling, conference, convention, leadership school, webinars, etc., as well as associate with positive, successful people. If you do all of that and take off these action items, then I can assure you it's not a merit of if, but when you will achieve the amazing goals of uh, reaching master UFO and SAMM, which is very, very important. I can tell you, I know for a fact that many very, very successful leaders all around the world that have been able to reach where they're at is because they've been consistently, uh, quarterly, reach their master UFO and SAMM. So that's um, basically what I'd like to share today. Thank you very much um, in terms of um, the attitude and knowledge. All right, so let's um, have one minute break.